Hey everybody, Duck Number 8 Wooden Railway here, and today we're going to review Percy's Chocolate Crunch. Percy's Chocolate Crunch is a DVD with six episodes from season six. It was originally distributed by Anchor Bay in 2003, and then it was re-released by Lionsgate in 2009. So this is our first 2003 DVD, and it was told by Alec Baldwin. My copy is the original Anchor Bay 2003 copy, and not to mention I actually have a second copy right here. This is my childhood copy. I still have the, the disc, but unfortunately I lost the case for this, and I needed a case to put it in, so I just had a random case here and tried to put the poster out on it, but didn't turn out very good, so that's why here's one here for me. So my copy of Percy's Chocolate Crunch, this is the one we're going to be focusing on. It has a green background, it has a yellow, and a chocolate title. How cool is that? Picture of a chocolate Percy, because that's what the episode is about. Screenshot from Gordon takes a tumble down here, and the DVD logo. So this is really cool, Chocolate Crunch Percy, because that's what the episode is called. The side, Cartoon Thomas... DVD logo, it's green and it has the yellow and chocolate title and the Anchor Bay logo down at the bottom. And the back has the blurb, it has the Told by Alec Baldwin sign up here, snapshots from the episodes Gordon Takes a Tumble and Middle Engine, it has the menu down here and the Anchor Bay licensing down here at the bottom. <clears throat> the disc I already showed you, but it's a squished up version of the front poster art, the booklet... It's actually a horizontal booklet. My copy didn't come with the booklet, so instead I just have one for us to look at. I just printed this one, so here is the front cover of it. Have you ever wanted to meet Thomas? I guess this talks about the Day Out with Thomas event. I'm sorry that it's not in the right order. It didn't print properly. Mr. Jolly's Chocolate Factory, I guess that's what it talks about. Percy's Chocolate Crunch, here I guess you could visit the main main menu, the Fun and Games Shed, the Pick a Story, the Sodor Spelling Game, the Read Along, and Percy's Puzzle. More stuff about Mr. Jolly's Chocolate Factory. <clears throat> Guess more stuff where you could purchase from the Day Out with Thomas event and then collect all your favorite Thomas and Friends videos. So this time it has all the VHSs and then if you see that yellow sticker it says also available on DVD. So that is that. And now we are going to talk about the episodes. So the episodes for Percy's Chocolate Crunch on this release are Percy's Chocolate Crunch Thomas, Percy, and the Squeak, Gordon Takes a Tumble, Buffer Bother, Middle Engine, and Faulty Whistles. So this is the first release that I have that we are going to talk about some negative stuff. What I mean negative stuff is like maybe a bad episode, and this release is full of bad episodes. <clears throat> These episodes, some of them, are some of my least favorite episodes of season six. Just some of them. Not all of them, but some of them. The, the ones on here that I like are some of my favorite episodes of season six. But anyways, out of all of these episodes on here, all six of them, only two of them I like. And those two episodes that I like are my favorite. Well, some of my favorite episodes of season six, because wait until we get into the James and the Red Balloon episodes. So now I'm going to briefly talk about the episodes with you. So episode one, Percy's Chocolate Crunch. This is one of the good episodes on this release. Well, great. This would be one of my favorite episodes of season six. I love the crash scene, and it was just, it's so great. I, I love it. Episode two, Thomas, Percy, and the Squeak. This episode is boring. I do not like this episode at all. Plus, Thomas is rude to Percy. Like, gosh. Episode three, Gordon Takes a Tumble. The other great episode on this release. Another of my favorite episodes of season six. I love Gordon's role. I love the whole like the scene how he tumbled off the tracks, like, that is amazing. I love that. Episode 4, Buffer Bother. This episode is awful. 
I think this will be the worst episode in which Bill and Ben have the leading roles. They're completely out of character here. Episode 5, Middle Engine. I hate this episode. This episode is awful. I hate this episode. It's even... This is my least favorite episode of Season 6. My least favorite, Middle Engine. Buffer Bother was almost equally as bad, but Middle Engine is worse. It's just awful. I just hate it. There's no words to describe how terrible it is. And Episode 6, Faulty Whistles. This episode is bad. It's bad, bad, bad. Boring is what I call it. And the sing-along song for this release is Little Engines. And even the sing-along song for this release, I don't really like that song, Little Engines, very often. So, <clears throat> very much I meant to say, sorry. So, what I am going to do about the sing-along song is that if I had to change it, well, the only season six sing-along song that never was on a U.S. home media release, was Never 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 Give Up. So what I would do is that I would swap Little Engines off this release and replace it with Never 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 Give Up. The one thing I don't like about Never 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 Give Up is that there's an adult singer singing along with the children's choir. But still, that song is way better than Little Engines. So that's why I would replace it. And even though, despite me not liking the adult singer singing along with the children's choir, the song Never 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 Give Up teaches a very valuable lesson that you should never give up. You should always keep going despite the challenge. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, we're gonna... We talked about all the episodes in the sing-along songs. Now, I'm gonna talk about why I have all these characters here. So... I've got Thomas here with Annie and Clarabelle because he was the main character and he was pulling Annie and Clarabelle in that episode, Thomas, Percy, and the Squeak. Percy is here because he's the main character in Percy's Chocolate Crunch, Thomas, Percy, and the Squeak, and Middle Engine. Gordon is here because he's the main character in Gordon Takes a Tumble. Bill and Ben are here because they are the main characters in Buffer Bother. James is here because he's the main character in Middle Engine. Well, he kind of had a major role in it. Ari and Bert are there because they were the main antagonist in that same episode. And Duncan is there because he's the main character in Faulty Whistles. So my thoughts about this release, it could have been way better. Only two good episodes. The other four are just awful. I love the horizontal booklet. But for some reason, here's, here's something I, I don't like. On the back, it just says Faulty Whistle, and the episode is titled Faulty Whistles, so that's weird. This is the only DVD with a horizontal booklet, and it's the last one with the book ad. And for some reason, another thing, Percy is mirrored on the front cover. This is also the first DVD with Robin, Robin Smith's preview, where Robin Smith is narrating the preview, so yeah. Anyways, this is all I have to say about this release. I hope you liked it, and thanks for watching, and stay tuned for Thomas and his friends help out.